CSI Celebrity Style Inspiration Magandang gabi Pilipinas at sa lahat ng nanonood sa buong mundo. This is CSI Celebrity Style Inspiration, the Manila Times Entertainment and Lifestyle Pages come to life on the Manila Times Digital TV. We promise you an episode na punong-puno ng balita as usual, kaya tutok lang po kayo on what we hope is your weekly afternoon habit every Wednesday on CSI. To start off, let us take a look at this week's winners and downers. Winner na winner ang naganap na World Pandesal Day noong nakaraang linggo sa pangunguna ng Kamuning Bakery at may-ari nitong si Wilson Lee Flores. Mahigit na 70,000 pieces of pandesal ang ipinamahagi ng libre sa publiko maliban pa ito sa mga ibinigay ring mga palaman, bigas at canned goods. Ilan sa mga dumalo sa event ay si na Quezon City Mayor Joy Belmonte, Senator Cynthia Villar at Regal Films producer Mother Lily Monteverde. As part of the month-long celebration of Pandesal Month, magkakaroon din ng free medical, dental, and optical mission ang Kamuning Bakery in its premises in Quezon City on October 27. Winner na winner din ang sunod-sunod na launch ng mga celebrity endorsers ng ilang major lifestyle brands in the areas of home, beauty, and health. Unang-una na rito ang winner na pagsasama muli ng dalawang Miss Universe Queens na sina Gloria Diaz and Pia Wurzbach as endorsers of Lux Home, a new high-end but friendly hub in BGC gathering top European mattress brands and bedroom accessories for the Filipino market. The two queens agreed that sleep is such an important part of looking your best and more importantly, to stay healthy all around. A few days later, Pia took her beauty tips a step further when she graced the opening of the Center for Advanced Dentistry or CAD where she guaranteed that a good smile can boost one's confidence instantly. Yours truly had a one-on-one -on -one interview with Queen P which will be out as a CSI Spotlight Special. Hindi din magpapahuli ang forever young and handsome na si Gabi Concepcion when it comes to endorsements. Dahil siya ang pinaka-latest member of well-loved businesswoman Ray Tan's growing roster of celebrity endorsers. Gabi is now in the company of A-listers Sylvia Sanchez, Lorna Tolentino, and of course, Marian Rivera in using Butterm's wide range of skin and personal care products. Finally, the lovely Jessie Mendiola, who has had more than her fair share of bashers in the past, and was a victim of body shaming, is proudly endorsing the skin cell group of clinics that is headed by Dr. Isa Celonia. Sabi ni Jessie, so long as you accept your natural features and know deep inside your reasons for going to a clinic to have something done that will make you happier and healthier, there's no need to listen to what others have to say about you. Downer naman ang malungkot na pagkamatay ng ama ng Barreto sisters na sina Gretchen, Marjorie, and Claudine Barreto. Although nabalita na nagkabati na ang mami nila at si Gretchen sa wake ng kanilang ama, totoo nga bang grabe ang eksenang nangyari sa pagitan ni na Gretchen at Marjorie na ayaw talagang magkabati? Pati raw ang presidente ay naging witness sa real-life teleserye na ito na talaga namang downer na downer kung totoo. That's it for our jam-packed weekly opener, Winners and Downers. Huwag po kayong aalis, CSI will be right back. Usapin siyensya ba? Sisiwian! Ilalani natin ang mga batang denyo sa dalawang oras nilang tagisan ng dunong at galing. Samahan natin silang tuklasin ang mga sagot upang madagdagan pang lalo ang ating kaalaman. Frank Olympics, dito lang sa The Manila Times TV. back you're still watching CSI celebrity style inspiration the Manila Times entertainment and lifestyle pages come to life on the Manila Times TV let's get started with our certified CSI reports Tina Pai you're first up this week how are you how has the week been Maraming ganap pero masaya. Maraming ganap yes. pero masaya. Ano naman ang uh, report mo para sa atin this week? Well, for me po, ang 
Report ko po this week is Certified Rock and Roll. Certified Rock and Roll. Indeed, the Philippines has an endless stream of talented singers and musicians, but finding raw talent can be a challenge. This inspired the Manila Times to have its very own original competition, Duelo, the Battle for the Best Original Artists. Instead of merely asking bands to sing covers, Duelo required them to submit and perform their original compositions. A tough task, but after months of extensive search, Duelo found three impressive bands who measured up to the challenge. They are Splendio, Tritus, Tore, and Hype Band who are all now part of the upcoming Grand Finals in December. These band's representatives sat down with CSI recently to introduce their music and the inspiration behind their winning compositions. Get to know Nicole of Splendio, Tritus, John Anthony of and the adorable Moses of Hype Band in Christina's Certified CSI Report. So, my name is Nicole Ferrer. I am the vocalist and also the lead guitarist of the band. Our band started because of my brother Josh, who was diagnosed with autism when he was younger. And since we wanted to improve his social skills, we um, used music as a therapy for him, and that's how we formed the band. Uh, our band's name, Splendiotritus, was actually a battle cry of our family in the 15th century, and it actually means we shine through challenges. Uh, we actually follow this acro acronym uh, from our name, Splendio, and uh, S is say a prayer, P is we identify our purpose for making the song our target audience. L would be the writing of the lyrics. And uh, E would be the emotion behind everything. Uh, N would be the notes and the chords. D would be the drum beats, which will be handled by my sister. Um, I is the integration and O is us critiquing our own output. The first song we performed uh, for the semifinals was is called Break, and the inspiration of the song is the feeling of being stuck and overcoming the feeling of being stuck. And as for the second song, Walang Bobo Sa Mundo, the inspiration of this is everyone has a gift, everyone has a talent. No one is born without being able to do anything. And uh, basically, walang bobo sa mundo. That's the inspiration of the second song. Before the band's formation, he used to be obsessed with spinning things. Uh, he used to have his own little world. He never really talked to us or looked us in the eye. But ever since we started the band and started performing together, he's been talking to us more often. And he's been forming sentences, actually conversing with us properly and even being more play playful and he jokes around with us most of the time so he's definitely improved from uh before we started the band our preparation like uh, well of course um we'll be practicing uh, like every weekend whenever i come back home more often since practice makes better and eh, not perfect because nobody's perfect and uh yeah we'll just be practicing more and hopefully we'll be able to do better in the finals. Uh, in the weekdays, I'm actually uh, in Makati to study. I want for our band to be known for our inspirational songs, for our uplifting songs, and also for our togetherness since we are siblings and we are not, we are never going to separate ways. Hi, I'm John Anthony Gumelos, uh, vocalist of the band Tore. The band was formed in uh, 2014 and we're school band and then we decided to go out from the school then we formed the name Tore. Na napag-isipan ko lang yung Tore na pangalan because I'm imagining for a tower, Tore. So pero medyo common kasi yung pangalang Tore or tower. So nilagyan ko ng H at saka the noble arco for uh, para maging uh, unique siya. Tower kasi kasi ano eh, parang mataas yung ano namin. Uh, mataas yung pangarap namin para sa grupo namin. Then like a tower then na 
para sa amin kasi yung tower is mataas to to ano to parang para makuha mo yung goal mo kailangan mo kailangan mong akyatin yung tore mm-hmm. nung una yung nasa Claveria po kami Claveria province of Misamis Oriental Cagayan de Oro and dun po yung school namin is lately ano Moscat Moscat yung pangalan Misamis Oriental State University uh, State uni- uh, State uh, Agriculture and Technology uh, mm-hmm. uh, tapos ngayon USTP na Nakakilala lang po talaga kami sa school. Pero magkakasama na kami doon. Pero as uh, magkakasama kami na mga ano, mga scholars ng banda doon sa school. Marami po kami. Then iba-iba ko kasi senior, junior, may mga ganun, mga first year, second year, sophomores ganun. So kami, pagdating namin ng mga ano na, yung mga senior, senior na kami sa sa band, sa org, sa school. So doon kami nag-decide na pa, bakit kaya kung ano paano kung gumawa na lang tayo ng banda lumabas tayo kasi sa school kasi hanggang doon lang kami tumutugtog eh gusto naman na, na naming tumugtog sa labas So yun gumawa kami ng bandang Tore to perform outside the school kasi hindi naman pwedeng dalhin mo yung pangalan ng school to perform outside no uh, kasi medyo ano lang gusto lang namin talagang maging independent tinuturuan yung mga bagong simula pa lang ano may training training po tsaka kung may mga program sa school nagpe-perform po kami dito talaga kami for ano nagbabaka sakaling may mangyari ganun kasi doon sa Mindanao hindi namin napupush yung mga originals namin kasi more on ano kasi doon yung mga show bands bars eh hindi naman na appreciate yung mga original namin so we decided to came here para para naman yung pinaghirapan naming sinulat na kanta eh mapakinggan ng may ano may bili talaga nabuo po yung mga kantang sinulat ko yung iba in my own experience yung iba din uh, sa iba yung parang naririnig ko lang tapos wow it's ano parang curious ako sa experience nila so yun ginagawan ko ng kanta kasi na, na nakaka-relate din ako ako yung sa lyrics at saka sa melody sa akin yun. Then, ini-introduce ko lang sa mga banda ko. Ganito, ito yung kanta ko. Tapos, uh, ito yung tono. Then, kayo na bahala sa mga, ano, sa iba. Sila na yung sa instrumental. Yung first song is Pangalawang Tagpo. It's all about, ano eh, love life na naman. <laughs> L- ano kasi, yung, yung Pangalawang Tagpo is parang walang closure. Yung magkaano na kayo. Yung dalawang taong nagkaibigan tapos walang biglang biglang nagla, biglang umalis yung isa walang closure tapos dumating yung panahon bumalik nagka, nagkita sila ulit eh andun pa lang andun pa rin pala yung feelings so yun and sa bahaghari sa kalako, kalawakan it tells us about ano uh, time love sacrifices for our loved ones may iba pa po kaming ano, may iba pa, mo, pa po kaming mga kanta. More on motivational po kami. At kaya yung pero yung pinupush namin is mga love songs. Pero may mga kanta po din kaming mga ano, more on positivity, more on uh, uh, encourage to encourage people na nam, naman po. Mm-hmm. Oo. Pero ano, nag-focus po kami sa uh, yung love song po namin yung pinaparinig namin sa mga tao. Simple lang naman po eh. Uh, di naman di namin masasabi na manunoon kami sa sa physical namin. Gusto lang naming maparinig um, uh, yung kanta namin to be unique. My name is Moses Gozon. I am the drummer hype, hype band. Six years old. Ano ang age ka nag-start na mag-band? Do you remember pa yung first time na nag-play ka ng instrument? Six. One, one. drums Anong bandang mo ngayon? Anong pangalan ng band? 
Hype band. Hype band. And nagkakilakilala kayo sa Hype Bulaga, is that correct? Opo. Anong taon ka na sumali ka doon? Five. Five ka lang nun. Tapos yung mga kasama mo, ano mga age mo dyan? Mga 12, 13. Ay, ba't nag-decide kayo na after ba na Hype Bulaga kayo nag-decide? Bakit nyo naisip na magkaroon doon ng band? Kasi para ma-inspire yung mga tao sa, sa gift namin. Nakuha namin sa hype ko ang bata ka, kaya nadingit naman yung band sa hype. Uh, so after your performance sa Hype Bulaga, nagtuloy-tuloy ba kayo ng playing besides duelo? Opo. Saan pa kayo nakita ng mga tao? Do you perform where? Sa... Little Big Chat at sa hype. Tell us yung dalawang songs na sinabit ninyo, original compositions. Yung kabataan tsaka yung minsan pa. Mm, ano namang storya doon? Yung minsan po, yung minsan, ano, minsan pa. Mm -hmm. Siya yung, para yung mga tao, hindi na po mag-gadget. Gadget yung uso na. Ah. Kaya, ano, yung mga tao para mabalik sa dati. Mm -hmm. And yung isa naman? Yung isa yung kabataan, yung para mga tao. Para yung kabataan natin, maayos na yun po. Pwede ko lang idagdag na tanong. Anong feeling na ang kalaban ninyo sa mga sa duelo ay mas matipanda sa inyo? Ano? Okay lang din po. Kayang-kaya na sila? Apo. Tatalo na sila? Ano <laughs> <laughs> yung ano nyo? Yung compositions nyo? I mean, paano yung proseso ninyo sa mga kasamahan ninyo? Yung singer po naman siya nagsusunod. Kaya yung yun yung tatay sa amin, yung YouTube sensation, siya din yung ano namin. Pwede yung pagagawa ninyo. Tapos ikaw yung nag-i-input para dun sa drums. So, paano? So, paano yung mga practice niya after school? Pag-uwi ko, ano kasi gabi yung uwian namin eh. Tapos, pag-uwi ko, diretso yung nakalang practice. Pag wala pa yung mga iba, rest mo na kami. Rest mo na. Gano'n kaya kapag anong pag-practice? Mga one hour. Sa mga Facebook page, tsaka magagawa na doon kami ng YouTube channel. Oo. Oh, ito na lang last question ko last. Ano tingin mo yung edge nyo sa lahat ng bandang kasali sa duwe? Sana din, ano, um, paglaki din namin, sana gumaling din kami. We're very happy that we've given you a sneak peek into Duelo. Ito po ang original competition that was um, put together no, by uh, the president and CEO of the Manila Times, Dante Klink Ang II. Uh, sa, you know, of course, yung goal ng Manila Times to keep on helping out kung anumang talent ang Pilipino ang meron out there. No? So, ngayon, sabi ko nga nung una when he told me about this, sabi ko kay Sir Klink, sabi ko, how very interesting that, you know, we're a newspaper but we're getting into music, no? Um, finding new talent. Sabi niya, well, you know, wherever there is um, uh, a talent to be found and talent na Pilipino, syempre yung nationalism ng the Manila Times will always be there. And nandiyan po ang support talaga ng Manila Times sa iba't ibang mga, um, you know, like parts of society. So ngayon, music naman po ang gustong matulungan ng the Manila Times. Tina, was it very, very interesting to finally get to sit down with um, the first three finalists no, of Duelo? Mm -hmm. Anong mga nanotice mo sa kanila? Uh -huh, um, sobrang, kasi po, tulad nga po nung sinulat ko sa article, sobrang... Hindi mo madali, pero ang dami-dami nating cover bands na available dito sa Pilipinas. And to have this um, idea na original compositions yung gagamitin nila, eh, kakaiba po. So, nag, nagta-translate din doon sa interview natin during, um, after nung roundtable nila, they sat down with us. And then, talaga na-explain nila yung kanilang mga hugot saan nagbe-base yes. yung kanilang mga kanta. At ang nakita nga po natin sa video, iba-iba. Yeah. May, may parang base Uh, love, uh -huh. meron tayo sa um, youth, sa youth. Uh -oh. sobrang bata, yes. sobrang youth, uh -oh. and then meron din tayo based dun sa challenges ng pandemic. But you know, another thing that I think um, makes this competition really tough no, and interesting is talagang walang 
well the age um, limits yes. was ano identified no mm-hmm. pero may mga bata mm-hmm. na makikipaglaban naman sa mga wow. Uh, mat- mas nakakatanda, uh-huh. no? Uh-huh. Adults. And uh, mm-hmm. how do you think they're going to fare? Like sila Moses, uh-huh. how do you think they're yes, gonna do? Uh, yung grupo po kasi sila nila Moses from 6 to 12 years mm-hmm. old. Pero kung iba-base natin dun sa mga judges, among them si Sir Adonis Tabanda uh-huh. and si Miss Grace Nicholas, talagang sabi nila may laban. Hindi ito parang play-play for uh-huh. them. Iba At saka hindi na naman nila na. nakuha as finalist itong grupo ng mga batang to. And then, then hirap naman sila to compete oh, no so it's a it's fair uh, fair game no at anybody can transform daw sila pag nandoon na sila sa kanilang mga sets tina let's also um you know let our viewers on CSI know that actually ang duelo is not just a competition it's not just a battle of the bands yes. original composition ang kailangan nilang mm-hmm. laban dito pero para rin siyang reality, reality show, show. Oh. tell us a little bit about that component of duelo um, para sa po nila magkakaroon ng parang uh, susundan sila sa kanilang adventure, mm-hmm. sa kanilang journey from um, the competition and eventually going out there. Oh, so I guess what happened from auditions pa lang po, we've had that several yes. months ago, nakatutok na rin yung mga cameras, pero once this is shown on digital TV, no, uh, susundan na yung lumabas na mga finalists. Mm-hmm. Yes. No? So ngayon, three pa lang, Apo. we're still looking for three more. Three more. Okay. So after nung semifinals po, uh, magkakaroon daw ng next round of ah. auditions. So magkakaroon, pipili ulit sila ng another three finalists. So yun po, uh, by the end of the month, we'll know na. We'll know who will yes. be competing with the three um, First, emerging uh-huh. na, na finalists. So, uh, very exciting mm-hmm. and uh, we really really hope that supportahan din po ng public itong yes. um, endeavor na to ng the Manila Times because you know you may think nga na medyo hindi ba jario oh. mounting a um, competition in music but you know as we always say syempre uh, the newspaper is always here to trumpet the success stories of Filipinos and if we can find a, a new group of artists no, mm-hmm. who will be the next big band in the Philippines, yes. ba? Then, you know, we'll be very proud of ourselves. So, Tina, thank you for thank um, you. letting us know na may ganyang competition ng Manila Times. And, ayan na, assignment mo na yan. Tutukan mo ang <laughs> yes. duelo. Oo ano nga duelo. pala, kasama ko ako sa, ano, judges. <laughs> judges. <laughs> sa huli, sa huling grand huli. Finals. Sa grand finals. Yes. Nahihirapan ako. <laughs> so, anyway, mag, magpapagayad na lang ako sa heavens. No, but anyway, yes. Tina, Keep an eye out on yes. those talents because you never know. Baka yung next big band na next e heads yes. lumabas jaan sa duel. Oh, na oh de ba? Maging groupie na tayo. <laughs> okay. Thank you for your certified CSI report, Tina Pai, mm-hmm. and I'll see you again for another one next week. We'll be back on CSI. The new era of Philippine TV has arrived, and we are here to lead the way. Here to deliver unbiased news. Here to spark fearless conversations. Here to redefine intelligence. Here to spread hope. Here to get your adrenaline pumping. Here to give you an inside look. Here to pay tribute to legends. And here to let your genius shine. At the end of the day, we're not just here to inform not just here to entertain we're here to uplift the filipino spirit the manila times tv aspirational inspirational thank you for staying with us on csi ngayon naman po another Certified CSI report this time from Iza Pai. Yes, May new look si Iza. Yeah. Ka high yeah, pony siya. Yeah. So much fun. Yes. Parang yung in interview mo mahilig din siya sa ganyang hairstyle. Mm-hmm. Okay, ah. Oo, oh, at asa lang yung akin ano eh, medyo taas taas na. <laughs> Mataas lang ang ang ambition mo. Mababa lang kilay. Mababa. <laughs> no, syempre beautiful as always. Yes. Pero Iza Pai, what's your report for me this week? Misty, ang report ko po for this week ay Certified Royalty. Certified Royalty, Showbiz Royalty, and Kapuso leading lady Janine Gutierrez has stunned audiences in you not with her bewitching beauty, 
but with her acting chops in the Q Cinema entry Babae at Baril. Apart from being a fashion news, an international endorser and sought after cover girl, Janine is undeniably one of the most gifted actresses we have today. The talented daughter of 80 stars Ramon Christopher and Lotlot de Leon is known for taking on strong and fierce female roles on television, like the tough and free-spirited Elise in Dragon Lady. And now for the movies, she's even got a gun in her hand. Wow, Janine. But how did the delicate beauty fare on the set of the psycho-thriller slash action flick? More from the certified CSI report by Isa Iglesias. such a joy to see Janine on screen kasi talaga naman isa siya sa pinakamagandang mukha no in um, in Philippine showbiz diba yes. Isa kasi okay. syempre kaming mga mga older than you guys <laughs> familiar po sa amin syempre ang lola niya okay. na si Pelita, Pelita Corales and you see a little bit of Pelita Corales mm -hmm. in her diba you see a little bit of her dad si Mon yes. Ching and then of course her grandfather naman is um of course, Eddie Gutierrez. Oh, yeah. Diba? Yeah, Tapos yeah, mami yeah. niya si Lot, Lot. Oh, on that side, although, diba, not related by blood, mm. ang grandmother naman niya rin sa kabila, Nora Unor, wow. lolo niya, Christopher De Leon. So, tama talaga yung sinabi mo na certified Royal. royalty. Mm. 
And I think what's interesting, maganda yung naging uh, lead up natin dito sa um, report mo na to for CSI because I was able to edit your story on Janine yes. and also si uh, Kuya Lar Santiago mm -hmm. who also has a column with us every Friday, ang showbiz, also talked about Janine no, uh, just last Friday. And sinabi nga niya na 30th birthday pala ni Janine. Ngayon na all these things are happening mm -hmm. to her. Paano naging special ang 30th birthday niya? Um, Actually, nagulat ako na 30 years old oh, na pala si Jerry. Nagulat super din ako. Bata oh. na bata. Parang halos kay Darad ko lang. Oo, oh, 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 nga. Ngayon, ngayon. <laughs> Siyempre, inunahan mo na ako na halos kaidaran mo lang siya. Hindi ko na pwedeng gamitin yun. So, sige, sa'yo na lang. Pero 30 na pala 30, si Jen. Na no? Pero she seems like a very, parang, very responsible young Apo. woman. No? Ever since, siguro, ate ba siya ng mga magkakapalit? Opo. O, kaya siguro... Diba she gives that vibe yeah. na, na, you know, even if she's like all over the world mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. because of her fashion career, yes. at least in the fashion capitals, mm -hmm. uh, parang, you know, you, siguro her parents don't really have to worry about yes, her kasi well, parang very, sure very well-rounded. Yes. Um, nung 30 siya, Kuya Lars Column said, uh, Janice's dream come true was to spend mm -hmm. it in Paris. In Paris, France. Oh, oh. Oh. Anong ginawa niya doon? Medyo special yun kasi naging kasama niya yung life boyfriend niya, si yes. Raver Cruz. Oo, oh, di ba? Na, na feeling ng iba, actually move from ABS-CBN mm -hmm. to GMA, GMA. really Dahil to be with yeah. Janine, yeah. di ba? Mm -hmm. And parang 30 na pala siya, so mm -hmm. medyo of age na rin yes, ha, if, if she wants to yeah. get, get, to settle mm -hmm. down. Pero actually, tinanong yan nung press, press con sa babae at baril, kung ready na daw ba siyang mag yes if ever na propose ba si Raver, pero sabi niya sa ngayon hindi pa daw siya ready oh, oh. to sell it. Parang marami pero pa rin siyang gustong gawin. Yeah, Although na. I know I know na meron siyang, well, you know, may movie nga siya sa Q Cinema. I know she's doing another movie with even bigger stars yata mm -hmm. in the lineup. Pero napag-usapan niyo ba niya at least no, yung kanyang fashion modeling career? Kasi okay. alam ko she walked the ramp. Was it in the New York Fashion Week? I think week? New York Fashion oh. Week yun. Tapos ang sure. naging kasama niya po doon. I think is si Lorene Uy, yes. yung sister ni Liz Uy oh. na ngayon fashion blogger po. Oh. Um, ayun po, medyo na starstruck daw siya kasi ang dami yan nakikita mga fashion icons doon. Parang dito sa Philippines, siya yung tinitreat natin na isa sa mga namin, ng mga yes. kabatan, isa, isa sa mga fashion icons Favorite na din ngayon. Favorite girl eh, di ba? Opo. Ng glossy magazines. Glossy magazines, laging siya yung binibida. Tapos, Siya naman, parang may experience niya yung side namin na makakita ng isang uh, mga fashion icons. Pero kasi talagang Janine has the figure, mm -hmm. no? Parang she's very yes. tall, she's very slim. Okay. Uh, and um, well, yung face, yung face nga in modeling, hindi mm -hmm. naman yan necessary yes. na dapat ganun attractive uh -huh. or perfect. But siya, uh -huh. siya talaga, she, mm -hmm. she is, no? Parang she has such a sweet face na... You know, hindi nakakasawang sawang tingnan. Okay. Pero uh, pero sa tingin mo ba mas gusto talaga niya i-pursue ang ang acting career niya? Yung acting po talaga yung mas nagustuhan niya kasi syempre mas na influence na influence siya ng mga pamilya niya, tito niya, tita niya, lolo lola niya, mga artista pati yung parents niya. So doon talaga siya nagkakaroon no. ng uh, passion. Motivation oh. and yung passion at at siguro yung guidance din nila. Mm -hmm. no? uh, parang, parang si Janine yata hindi na kailangan mag-workshop. Yes. Parang punta lang siya sa bahay, kausapin lang din. Kasabi lang yung <laughs> lola niya, yung lola niya, lola niya, mga yeah. magulang niya, okay. para na rin siyang nag-acting mm, workshop correct. because of the experiences mm -hmm. put together in that showbiz, very popular showbiz yes. family. No? Mm -hmm. Pero um, hindi siya masyadong makwento about Raver. Hindi masyado. Oh, no? Hindi parang, hindi ko nga maalala na inamin talaga na nila na sila, sila. lang mag-on mag oh, oh. na sila. Kasi alam ko nung una, parang naliligaw pa lang si Raver. Hindi oh, oh. niya sinasabi na sinagot na siya. Tapos yung tinanong na about dun sa relationship nila, ay oo nga pala, sila na pala. Sa Ako nga one sabuna. time, I was in church sa pinupuntahan naming simbahan. And nakita ko talaga sila dun dalawa mm. nagsisimba. And they're, a very good looking couple but mm -hmm. I, what I liked about them parang they didn't draw any attention to themselves yes. although pag napadaan talaga silang dalawa mapapaturn ang iyong head kasi nga parehong 
pareho naman talagang very good looking. And, yes. you know, yun kasi nakakagulat nga na 30 na siya. Kaya, <laughs> baka, baka naman pwede na para mas lalong maraming maging maganda at yeah. kwapo <laughs> sa mundo. Kumalat na. <laughs> Kumalat na ang kagandahan nila. Pero, I think, is a... Uh, um, uh, Janine deserves our congratulations, yes. diba? Yes. Kasi parang, you know, much as she's um, privileged no, mm-hmm. in show business, I say that privileged because of all of her connections and she's part of this this showbiz family. Mm-hmm. Parang, I think she did it naman on her own, yes. diba? Parang okay. nung una, mga support, support mm-hmm. role din, hanggang sa nagina siyang lead ng mga mm-hmm. teleserye. And parang she's very patient okay. uh, sa pagtakbo ng career niya. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, I think I really just get this vibe from her. I've probably met her once or twice, interviewed her once or twice, but I get this vibe that she's really well-rounded. Yes. Uh, and for that, we congratulate uh, her parents and, of course, Janine. Mahirap mm-hmm. kaya maging ganun sa mundo okay, ng showbiz, di ba? Hindi siya na pressure masyado kasi yung apelido na dinadala niya. Oo. Oh, oh. Nakikerry naman niya na. At ang masasabi ko, eh, nakikerry mo rin naman yung high pony ni Janine. Yeah. Congrats, <laughs> Thank you po. <laughs> uh, so, more of the high pony mm. look in our future episodes. Yes. Um, I hope, we hope you enjoyed that. Di ba? A lot of beauty in uh, one report. Mm. Di ba? Um, tungkol kay Janine Gutierrez. So, uh, stick around. Marami pa po kaming ibabalita sa inyo sa CSI. Mga isyung pinag-uusapan, mga palitang laman ng pahayagan, impormasyong dapat niyong malaman, tatalakayin, pupusisiin, at ihimayin ni Mario Garcia kasama ang kanyang mga panauhin sa harap ng bayan. Face Off! Welcome back to CSI and now you're on the T-Zone. From their stint in the X Factor UK two years ago, Joshua Bulot, Brian Del Rosario and Kim Ordonio, known collectively as JBK, came home armed with the knowledge and experience that have helped them become better artists. Just recently, they released Anesthesia, written and composed by entertainment editor and writer Jojo Panaligan, aka Iman. Kaibigan po natin yan. And because of its controversial title, the single is gaining more traction among listeners. Friends, ladies and gentlemen, it is our pleasure to have JBK here at the Manila Times. Times on CSI. Hello, Hi. Jay. Hi. It's our pleasure to be here. <laughs> diba? J and K lang po. J, K, K. Because si, si B. Nasa Iloilo eh. Okay. Uh, birthday niya lang. Oh, happy birthday, B. B naman yung tawag ko sa kanya, di ba? But we're very happy to have you here. And of course, you know, your your new single is quite special to us na it's, you know, parang really being heard all over the place. Kasi nga kasamahan namin sa entertainment, no, ang inyong, ang composer niya, si Jojo. So, um, um, tell us first, uh, paano napunta yung, yung kantang to sa inyo? Anesthesia. Ayun, si Josh makikwento. Yung kwento. <laughs> yung kwento nun, eh. Uh, 2015, ni-record namin yung kanta. Ah, as far back as 2015. Okay. Tapos, um, pinarecord lang sa amin ni Sir Jojo yan para maging ano lang, demo lang. Okay. Demo lang for a, for a competition. Gusto niya isa sa isa sa competition. Mm-hmm. Tapos nung uh, ngayong 2019, parang napag-isip-isip niya na hindi na lang daw yung naisasali sa competition. Papa, i-re-release na lang daw. Yeah. Oh, oh. And since kami naman daw yung nag-demo at maganda naman yung pag-demo. Kayo na rin. <laughs> kami na rin. Na rin. <laughs> at least maganda pag madali lang ang usapan, di ba? Everything fell into place. Yes. Oo, pero uh, yun nga eh, um, like we were saying in the spiel, parang anesthesia is gaining a lot of attention because of its title. Ano ba yung kwento ng anesthesia? Para ba yan sa operasyon? <laughs> <laughs> Kasi pag sinabi natin anesthesia, di ba parang yun yung mga pampamandihin. Mm-hmm. Parang hindi mo maramdaman yung pain. Oh. So, it's about love. Love <laughs> pa rin! <laughs> Oo nga. Love can be painful. Ma, can you attest to that? Can love be painful, Joshua? Kasi sobrang yung love mo. So, dapat balance lang. Ikaw naman, Kim, can you attest to that? Can love be painful? Oo, oh, naman. Masama ko sa kanya. Pero dapat niya, balance lang. Tama okay. lang. So, ano naman ang mga naging yung anesthesia sa buhay? Ay, pwede bang itanong? Yun, sa, uh, actually, uh, ano, it's about love and everything else. Uh, 
pag nasaktan ka, kahit di sila, may, pwede natin gawin ng anesthesia na yan. Like, for example, magta-travel ka or hmm. hang out with friends, with no. family. Yun yung anesthesia. Actually, na. I guess, loving yourself naman. Yeah. Diba? Lalo na kung binigay mo, binigay mo lahat-lahat sa kanya. Huwag kasi, huwag kasi. Metaphor pa rin ba yung baso at yelo or... Actually, kailangan naman talaga ng konting drink pag malungkot. So, yeah, Konti uh, lang. Yung song. Yung sa song kasi parang pinapakita talaga yung, yung Bastielo. Like, pag, pag sinabing Bastielo, it means alak na. Oo. Oh, oh. diba? so, so, parang iabot mo yung Bastielo, tapos iinom, iinom ako. Mamalid ako sa glit, kahit sa glit. Makakalim yung mga problema mo. Oo. Oh, Pero oh. at the end of the day, makawala din na at kailangan mo yung oh, shopping nila. Oh, oh. So, positive naman in the end. And, Actually, ma, ano nga, very real lang yung kanta because yes, yes. sometimes talaga, you know, you kind of need just a drink or two, de ba? Moderately lang po para naman maka ano ka, makarelax ang puso mo. Totoo naman yan. But um, well, besides the the single, of course, we want to get to know JBK a little bit more, no? Um, of course, you all know most of the people know na sila po really made it far sa X Factor in the UK. And just before we started taping, I asked them, pa paano ba kayo napunta doon? Kasi you know, parang di ba we have our own talent shows yes. here and then everybody else in different countries have their own franchises. Pero, bakit nakapag-accept at the time ng Pilipino to actually compete over there in, in, in the UK? Well, really, nung nag-start ta- nag kasi kami parang sinabi lang sa amin ng manager namin, um, gusto niyo pa sumali ng X-Factor UK? Meron silang online. So, sabi namin, sige, patripan na natin yan, parang send tayo ng video. Kasi, ano, diba? simula pa nung group namin, big fan na kami ng X-Factor UK. Uh, so, nung sinabi sa amin na may online auditions na, na kasi before kasi before 2017 kailangan mo pumunta do, doon muna sa Kaya, UK. Oo, oh, oh, di ba? Parang risky yun, di mo yeah. alam kung makapasok yeah. ako. Hindi. To spend all that money, no? Just yes. to audition. So, nung 2017 oh. nag-open sila ng online auditions. Pag na-approve ka doon, siya ka pupunta doon. Parang medyo may assurance man. Yeah. Na, But still, it was your own funds yeah. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. you used. Pero rewind konti pa. How did JBK get together before even, even X Factor came along? Uh, kami kasi mahilig kami sa music talaga dati pa, nung estudyante pa lang kami. So nakikisali kami sa mga living workshops. Mm-hmm. Mag- so, friends talaga kayo? I- hindi, hindi kami friends na lang. Doon kami sa, nakita sa workshop. Ah, sa workshop! Tapos nung uh, okay. workshop na yun, parang siyempre, birds with the same feathers. Flock so, together. Yung mga loko-loko oh, nagsasama-sama. Oh. Eh, kami, mga, kami tatlo yung parang loko-loko doon sa klaso. So, na lokolokong talented naman, yeah, hindi yeah, lang lokoloko, yeah. de ba? <laughs> oh, so you you decided to form a group after that. After that, <laughs> hindi hindi actually after that kasi um, si Brian kasi in, uh, sa music, music industry, industry na talaga, kami right. ni Kim nag-aral pa nun. Mm-hmm. Tapos si Brian may event siya, mm-hmm. tinawag niya kami for that event kasi kailangan daw tatlong tatlong tao. Okay. After that, may mga nagpapasa na sa amin ng mga card po, di ba kayo sa next wow. event? Sabi oh, ko, oh. Oh, so okay to. Ah. <laughs> oh, oh. Para sa mga ayan, para sa mga lalaki, dagdag baon. Oh, oh. So uno oh, just for fun oh. lang eh, no? So, so, and then graduate it... namin. Sabi ko, sige, mag ano na tayo, full force na tayo dito, 100%. Yeah. So, and it actually took you all the way to the United Kingdom. Yeah. So that was really a good decision on your part, no? But can you just share with us ano yung experience na yun na competing in a foreign country na uh, ang mga ang mga kasamahan niyo pa eh iba-ibang kulay ang hair <laughs> na totoong yun ang kulay ng hair di ba your di ba parang minsan wow di ba did you think may are we really here talagang anong feeling niyo at the time grabe kung makapaniwala talaga yeah. asin minsan may mga stage nga sa X Factor na after namin kumanta kay Simon nakapasa kami sa first round tapos no second round din yun yung parang makikita lahat ng mga nakapasa oh. yung parang mga 100 data kami noon tapos parang sabi parang nagtatanong kami tayo nandito. <laughs> Actually, nakaka-intimidate kasi hindi lang mga British yung nandun. Iba-iba. All different nationalities. Yeah, US from US. Uh, okay, natanong namin yeah. from US daw sila. Pero nung nag-end yung, yung inyong X-Factor journey, um, anong conversation nyo sa aeroplano nung pa-uwi na kayo? Wala, hindi kami papadzina. Yung, yung, <laughs> yung pinaka-after nung, ano, nung natanggal kami. So, para pagsakay na ng sakir, tahimik talaga pa. Oh, Siyempre, masakit sa amin yun. And grabe rin yung hirap namin doon. Mm-hmm. Pero 
Ganun talaga eh, part yun ng competition. Yeah. And marami kami natutunan. Oo. Yun yung malaga. And you know, I mean, walang ibang Filipino act na, I mean, you know, there are yung mga nanggaling na doon, di ba? But yung, yung actual Filipino act na nanggaling dito and joined that contest that went that far. So, you know, I should, guys, be, be very, very proud of that. So, tingin nyo ano yung mga bagay na naging, you know, that you learned and has made you, you know, better artists uh, because of your experience at X Factor. Marami, marami kami natutunan. Yun yung pinaka, yun yung pinaka naging advantage namin and bao namin sa X Factor mm -hmm. journey namin. Mm -hmm. Kasi, Marami kami natutunan in terms of originality, mm -hmm. yes. in terms of uh, kung paano kami magsama-sama. Yung, yung brotherhood namin mas lalo tumibay. Uh -oh. And yun, uh, naging mas lalo kami perfectionist sa lahat ng mga ginagawa, ginagawa namin. Uh -oh. Which walang, is walang good. Hilaw, walang hilaw. Yes. Well, that's good. Kasi so doon, ano, grabe yung ano, competition sa oh. original song. Uh -oh. So after noon, sabi namin, kailangan talaga natin magsulat. Oy okay, pala, uh, yung nanalo pala nung batch namin, lahat original songs lahat ng pinagkakita nila. So, no, Until then, kayo ba, I mean, when you were just like hobby pa lang ang music sa inyo, nagsusulat na ba kayo ng songs or at that time hindi? Hindi si Brian yung si Brian, si Brian. Si Brian. Pero ano, parang hindi pa, hindi pa kami ganun ka-active. Oh. Parang siya ito kami nakaklose na Kumaka performer lang kami. Na your performer, tapos hintay na lang kami ng, ano, ng magkakompose sa amin. Yeah. And hindi pala gano'n ng, ano, ng music business. Yeah. So, kailangan talaga magsulat ka. So, pero hindi namin kinaklose yung katulad nga kay Sir Jojo. Siya yung nagsulat. Oh, yeah. Yes. Especially, pini at saka pinili kayo as art. And yes. if your interpretation of it talagang pasok, di ba? Yeah. Then the song is really made for you. Yeah. Di ba? Okay. So, kanina nga sabi mo, yung, yung brotherhood nyo was strengthened by the whole X Factor experience, di ba? So, kayo ba, eh, hindi minsan nag-iisip na you may want to go solo. Di ba? Ang ano nga, ano yun, yung, yung first group ng One Direction na dinescover ni Simon Cowell, they did so well, and then at the peak of their careers, they decided, we just want to try going solo. At this point in your careers, eh, um, Have you ever thought of it? Na maybe I can do a little bit here on my own and a little bit there. Uh, kasi may usapan na kami, like, pwede kami gumawa ng other projects, uh, solo projects. Mm -hmm. Pero uh, yes. kailangan kit ano tingnan mo na yung schedule, ibalance yung schedule. Kasi like for me and Kim, meron kami ng sariling uh, nagte theater kami dalawa. Oh, like ako, ah, okay. Uh, Sama ako sa Rock of Ages. Okay. Si Kim sa Magnificat. Oh, okay. In the at the music museum, de ba? So, wow. Okay. Okay lang. Pa, caga parang it adds naman ni sa ako. Pa ko yare. Ah, yun si Joshua nagplay ng toilet sa Rako Page. He's a member of JBK band. So, oh, 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 oh. Wow. So toilet ka na don, ha? Oh, wow. Yeah. Galeng. Ikaw na man ang bait bait mo sa magnificat ka na punta. <laughs> <laughs> o, oh, di ba? Bait ba it mo? Grabe, grabe sila sa akin. Paano yung mukhang magnifica? <laughs> di ba? Di ba? Di ba? Parang bait ba it eh. Dapat huling huli. <laughs> di ba? Pero ayun, um, kasi ako first time ko nag theater. Si Josh kasi matagal na siya. Parang three years. Mm -hmm. Tatlong run ka na. Tatlong run na ako. So ako, um, first time ko. So grabe yung na-pressure ako. Kasi kasama ko rin din yung mentor namin na nagturo sa amin mag-acting. Ah. Si Miss Anna Pileo. Oh. Okay. And the ba uh, your director is non no other than Loris Gillian. The ba one of the mga So grabe parang mm -mm. sige kaya to. Mm -mm. Pero yun nga dahil nangingiri na ako ng tulong sa kanila mm -hmm. paano gagawin to yung mga nakasama ko dun. So Pero ang galing kasi lang from what you're telling us today, uh, nakikita namin na yung experiences nyo is very varied. ba diba? Yung parang iba-iba yung na-experience nyo coming from from a competition, tapos ngayon may Magnificat, may, may theater, may ano, and which will just really make your, your you know, individual artistries, di ba, mas ma-improve. Tapos pag nagsama-sama kayo, di mas lalo pa, di ba? So what are the plans of, well, it's almost the end of 2019. I'm sure you're all looking forward to an even better 2020. Anong mga plans of JBK here on? Uh, ngayong 2020, uh, more, more original songs to come. Actually, magre-record kami before the year ends ng mga tatlong kanta yata. Tapos, uh, i-release -re namin siya 2020. Basta more songs from JBK. 
So, ngayon kasi, it's so complicated, no? In the, back in the day, nung mga bata pa kami ni Rain. <laughs> bata pa rin naman. Bata pa mga tita. So, kasi talaga dati nakakapagsabi kami na, oh, yung album ng artist na yan, it's this, di ba? Parang collection of songs. Pero ngayon kasi, you release it one by one, di ba? On mga streaming site. So, so ano, ano yun? Parang have you already released an album before? Or pag naipon, and then is that when you're gonna call it your debut dati or kasi, paano ba? Dati kasi nung bata pa kami talaga album. Oh, album nung bata pa tayo, dati, yes, dati. Uh, <laughs> yeah, mas, okay. mas okay pag single-single. Mas okay para, na, no? Para makafocus yung tao dun sa kanya. Sa isang kanta. Kasi usually, ang, ang disadvantage ng album is may mga kantang sayang na hindi napapansin. Okay. So, more, at least nabibigyan mo ng ano, ng enough like attention it. and promotion pa, one by one. Yes, so, Okay. So, yun yung plan namin, one by one. Okay. Pero ano, every two months na. Oo. Oh, oh. And these songs originally written, composed by the three of you na. Yes, kayong tatlo. Yes, yes. Oh, oh. Actually, Hindi... meron kami, before Anesthesia, may dalawa kami kantang kami kasumulat. Ah, okay. And these are, just so they, our, our viewers know, ano yung mga title na ito? Na-release na? Na-release na. Ah, okay. Ang title na is Maibalik. Oo. Oh, oh. And is a letting it go. Okay, talagang medyo mga deep pang mga songs na mga boys na to, ah. So, uh, mahi- so pagbaga niya ng mga kanta, ano bang ano bang mga love life niyo ngayon? May pinaghuhugutan ba kayo? Or lahat ba yan e eh, galing sa musical? Nagpapakwento lang kami sa mga kaibigan. Okay, ganun lang. Sure, sure naman kayo dyan. Baka naman may gusto kayong bati. Ang bigang pangalan, Jo. Gusto lang ka. Hindi ako yun. Gusto lang namin makarelate yun sa mga tao. Oo nga. Oo, gusto yan ang mga listeners eh. Yung may hugot. Yeah. May hugot din sila. And all Filipinos naman always love love songs. So I guess you guys are on the right track. Yeah. ba? So mga look nyo pa. Very, very, ano bang look nila? Very international. Medyo pwedeng pang... ASEAN na now, pwedeng pang Southeast Asia. And we're glad that at, at, you know, at this early, nakasama na namin kayo dito sa CSI bago kayo sumabrang sikat. So, just um, pa- a parting shot nyo lang sa aming mga viewers dito sa CSI just to say maybe uh, support your single or catch you in okay, certain shows. Okay, sa lahat ng mga na uh, Sana po support tayo niyo po ang JBK. Lalo na sa single namin, Anesthesia. And yun, support OPM and and rock on, yeah. rock and roll. Ayan pala, we, kasi nga, we didn't have time to interview them before, but we wanted na pagdating nila dito, they feel special yeah. naman. So, we did, we did write about how Anesthesia is shooting up the charts. Um, if you want to thank the radio stations playing your songs, uh, di ba? Masaya kami sa lahat ng mga radio stations na tumatanggap sa amin. Maraming maraming salamat mm-hmm. po. At tinanggap niyo po yung song namin na mabilis. And uh, sana po, request na po ng request para mas lalong uh, lumaki. Ba- at marami pang naka- makarelate. Maka- maka- yes, at marami pang makarelate sa anesthesia. Again, tungkol siya sa love. <laughs> that has been the T-Zone for this episode. Again, thank you. Thank you to JBK. Thank you, Rain. Thank you, Jojo, for uh, bringing the boys here. Isang lako, malulunod kita Huwag na na Pag-usapan Kahit siya na malang isipan Ang katatahanan Walang
sa favorite parts ko ng CSI. Of course, when I get to chat the entire team sa CSI Exchange, we have Arlo, Nika, Iza Pai, and Tina Pai. Uh, kamusta naman kayo? Punong-puno ang episode today. Oh, yeah. May action, yeah. may drama. drama, at may music. Siyempre, yeah. nakasama po natin ang JBK na isa sa pinaka fast-rising groups no, in music today. Pero, um, I don't know, no. Usually, kasi when na uh, parang when celebrities nor famous people, if they experience death in a family, ako personally, even as a journalist, I'd much rather just report about it and then hinto na doon, no, mm -hmm. to give the family naman time to grieve and you know, syempre, this is a private na moment para sa kanila. Kaya lang hindi maiwasan na mapag-usapan pa rin ang mga Barreto sisters um, after na matay ang kanilang ama, no? Um, you know, the earlier part of the uh, day last week, ang news na lumabas ay dumating nga ang presidente, no, yes. si President Duterte para makiramay sa Barreto family, uh, which was quite a positive um, kind of uh, news kasi nga nagbate ang mom Si Gretchen. Si Gretchen at si Mami. Mm -hmm. Si Mami... Australia. Australia, okay. And then, nag-hug pa yata sila with the President as witness to the reconciliation. So, mm -hmm. that was very nice. Pero later on in the day, um, nalaman natin, no, may nakapagsabi po sa The Manila Times Entertainment na unfortunately, hindi pa rin pala tapos ang away ng mga Barreto sisters. And at least, Marjorie couldn't really contain kung anumang galit na meron pa rin siya kay Gretchen. And apparently, may mga eksena na naganap, mga a little sigawan here and there, uh, mga uh, kung ano-ano pa. And all of this, then, witness ang presidente. No? So, uh, kaya hindi natin maiwasan not to talk about it. No? So, I guess... My question for you guys, do you think ba a person can be really angry with someone that even in a place na, you know, it's the wake of their father and then the 
president is there, uh, na hindi talaga niya makokontain ang nararamdaman niya. Mm -hmm. Naiintindihan mo ba? Hindi ko pa rin, ang dami-dami na kasing pinag-awayan ng Barreto Sisters yes. eh. <laughs> hindi mo ma-pinpoint mo ba, Arlo, kung ano yung pinagmulan? pinagmulan? Hindi na ngayon eh, no? Oh, marami. Marami. Although I think na yung mga cases like this or events like this, time for forgiveness. Lalo na family ang involved. Oh, oh. Pero apparently si Marjorie siguro is talang compounded na yun. Patong-patong na. Patong-patong na. Although si Gretchen sinabi niya na nung pumunta siya ng Maynila, ang goal lang niya nun is para masuporta si Marjorie. So, that's how close they were. What do you mean? Uh, when so, is this? Diba, Maynila? Uh, nung before pa. Ah, way back. Way, way back. Oh, 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 Tapos oh, oh. hindi nga niya nagampanan yung pag-support kay Marjorie. She was very disappointed. When she was running. No, no, when she was still new in, new in the business. Yes. Ah, okay. Tapos, okay. syempre. Nung, Medyo nang okay. Ang oh, dami na kasi nang pinagawa yan ng Barreto <laughs> Sisters. Okay, oh. oh. Tapos, uh, di ba, somehow nagkaroon ng problema sila, Marjorie. Gretchen took care of her and her family. And the family. Oo nga eh. Tapos kaya naging close nga yung mga anak ni Marjorie kay Sila Gretchen. Julia, oh, kay sila Gretchen. Julia. That's true. So, parang second mother. Oo, oh, oo, oh, oo. Oh, oh. Tapos ang nangyari nung, alam mo na, sa politics, pumasok na yung politics. Tapos, I don't know. I What I remember is this. Nung sinabi yata ni Gretchen doon sa anak ni Marjorie, no, kailan ba kayo alis dito sa property. Yeah. Niya. Na hindi niya nasabi ng diretsa, pinadaan okay. sa anak. So, I think doon nagsimula. Nag-flare nag up mm -hmm. din lahat. Ako kasi, um, you know, like, sometimes you do get to talk to the veterans talaga of the business, even um, mga producers, mga managers, sila yung mga nakakaalam. You know, kahit na pa, uh, you know, yung ibang tao, inisip nila napaka-vicious si yeah. Gretchen or mm -hmm. apparently, really, most of her early years and for many years, no, na naging artista siya. Actually, she really, really was the breadwinner of the family. Mm -hmm. So, um, napakabait naman daw talagang anak at kapatid ni Gretchen. Kaya at lang nga, at, at tita na naitulong naman niya lahat. Kaya yes. lang siguro, siguro when she feels na bakit pag may argument, she's always at the losing end. Yes. Parang mm -hmm. mas nagkakampi-kampi yung iba mm -hmm. kesa sa kanya. Mm -hmm. So, yan ang hindi natin rin naman masyadong ma-confirm. Ma but that's that's what observers in show business say, no? Um, kayo, ikaw, Nika, sa tingin mo ba, eh, <laughs> ikaw ba, sa tingin mo ba, eh, si Ate Marjorie, hindi <laughs> talaga niya napigilan. Naiintindihan mo ba na kung galit na galit talaga siya, na she couldn't parang even put that aside because mm -hmm. wake ng father and then the president was there. Um, to be honest po, hindi na ako nagulat na may ganung issue kasi um, sabi nga nila, ang Barretos, kayang-kaya na magka-reality show, di ba? <laughs> <laughs> Sobrang daming nangyayari. Wow. <laughs> Oo oh, oh, nga, ang ganda na naman ang point ni Nika. <laughs> Dapat pala, dinulok siya. Ngayon, oh, challenging. Eh. Kayo naman, <laughs> mga girls. Eh, no? Isa pa, ikaw, nagulat ka pa ba? At ano hmm. naman ang thoughts mo dito sa pinag-uusapan ngayon ng showbiz? Ma'am, ako nagulat na nangyari yon na nandun si President oh, Duterte. Oh. Mm -hmm. Parang sa akin nga, yun nga, na hindi mm -hmm. tamang oras, hindi tamang lugar para mag-away-away kayong magkakapatid. Lalo na sa harap ng Nang, sa, oh, sa oh, ano, oh. lamay. Oo oh, oh, nga. Pero ang buti na lang, eh, among all the past presidents that we've had, eh medyo cowboy, cool, yeah. cool at cowboy <laughs> naman tong si President Duterte. Mm -hmm. no? Hindi siya yung parang sobrang prim and proper yes. na siguro kung naiba-ibang naging presidente, masya-shock siguro mm -hmm. sila talaga. But um, from our source, uh, sabi nga nila, actually tumulong pa nga raw ang presidente at Mag some point na, hindi naman tulong, parang sinabi lang niya, he was really trying na magkabati si Gretchen at si Marjorie. Si Marjorie. Marjorie. Eh mukhang talagang si Marjorie. Hindi pa siya ready. Mm. So, ayun. Eh, Ikaw naman, anong comment si mo kay Papa Marjorie Dutz? Marjorie lang po ba ang hindi Marjorie. ready? Hindi, so, meron ding iba. Si, yung iba din. Well, Ewan ko kung si Gretchen daw, parang siguro nahiya si Gretchen sa presidente, she offered her hand. Mm -hmm. Pero parang ang kwento, eh, hindi din daw, hindi rin daw tinanggap, tinanggap ni Marjorie. Mm -hmm. So oh. mukhang deep, deep mm -hmm. ang away, di ba? Kasi lang po, I would expect. So I was hoping lang po na may decency yung magkakapatid and kung may ganito kalaking uh, dapat isettle, sana in a private room mm -hmm. na hindi nakikita ng buong... Mm -hmm 
madlang. Oo. Oh, Oo oh. oh, oh, nga. <laughs> Oo oh, oh, kasi, <laughs> di ba, sabi nga nila, ano, it's, um, you know, even if, if parang, kasi nga because it, the president was there, medyo mm -hmm. sinara na rin naman yung doors. Because of course, for safety reasons, yes, yes. hindi naman pwedeng mapuno talaga mm -hmm. yung, yung place. Pero, ang dami-daming tao doon. There's, you know, the people from heritage. Yes. They could have seen and could have been our source or yes. maybe a caterer. Oh, <laughs> di ba? So, kalat ng tao ngayon may, yeah, may phone, may phone na. na. And ano, kaya lang nga, marami rin ayaw magkwento kasi ayaw na nila masama pa sa gulo ng mga Barreto sisters. Because as you can tell, medyo, medyo vicious ang mga away. <laughs> di ba? So, well, you know, it, it's sad kasi this is a time for all of them to come together because, you know, they, I mean, it's their father, no? Yes. Um, sabi nga, nung nagkwento pa sa atin, may isang pamangkin daw si uh, Gretchen um, na Parang siguro was so exasperated, nag-blurt out na siya na, you know, this is such a disrespect to my Lolo's wake. Mm. Parang ganyan. Eh, parang even after that, hindi pa rin yata na natigil. So, mahirap din, no? Parang I, I feel for... I feel for all of them mm -hmm. kasi um, sabi ko nga it would be must must be a wish ng lahat na quiet na lang muna tayo while we grieve, 'di ba? Yeah. Pero sila nga yung ano Tessa, we would like to commend Claudine. Mm -mm. Kasi siya yung nagpo-post kahit nung nasa hospital pa yung daddy niya. Mm -mm. Siya talaga yung nandoon. Mm -hmm. And uh, kumbaga she she tried her hand na Oh, 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 oh. Well, to be fair, then, ano, Marjorie and Claudine were there. Yeah. Parang yeah. even, um, parang the videos that we saw, lahat naman, Claudine, Marjorie, and I guess the other other siblings, because mm -hmm. hindi lang naman silang tatlo, were really at the father, at the mm -hmm. Lolo's mm -hmm. bedside hanggang sa ospital, yes. from his birthday, tapos yes. when he got ill na yata, mm -hmm. and ano. Uh, but siguro ang masasabi ko lang nga, in the entire kwento, not once did Claudine's name come up mm -hmm. na nakihalo pa siya doon sa mga nangyari. Kasi yeah. daw may mga brothers eh. Ang ginawa ng mga brothers, lumayo na lang agad. Mm -hmm. Parang siguro they know ang strong talaga ng mga women sa pamilya nila eh. Mm -hmm. Kaya lang nga, syempre, uh, mahirap eh. Hindi tayo maka-quote sa inyo <laughs> kasi ayaw nila masangkot. So, pero yan, gusto pa rin namin makiramay and, and yeah, sana... Yeah. You know, you never know. Baka naman magkaroon ng mga realizations. Either that, or sabi nga ni Nika, magka-reality show na lang. Baka doon masetel. Keeping up with the Barreto. Oo, keeping up with the Barreto. So, kayo ho, ano naman ang mga views nyo sa nangyari. Siyempre, welcome kami sa mga opinions ninyo. Or sana na-enjoy nyo lang ang aming exchange. Alam nyo naman, ang dami naming thoughts. Lalo na si Nika, maraming research. Yes. Backed by research. Oo. Tapos na naman po ang isang episode ng CSI at sana nag-enjoy kayo tulad ng pag-enjoy ninyo sa nakaraang episodes namin dito sa CSI. The Manila Times Entertainment and Lifestyle Pages come to life on the Manila Times Digital TV. As always, everything came together with the help of my hardworking team. Thank you Arlo, Nika, Isa, and Tina, and of course, our uh, The Manila Times TV technical team, thank you to Jesse, Nathan, Jello, JM Joaquin, at Eric, si Kuya Ricky, wala sa listahan. Thank you, Kuya Ricky. <laughs> Join us every week for new episodes of the hottest online TV show on the Facebook pages of CSI and the Manila Times TV. And saan pa, Arlo? Okay, actually, ang gusto kong sabihin sa watchers natin, sa mga viewers natin is, if you have comments, email them to us mm. at CSI tnttv at gmail.com Ayan. Pero pwede rin nilang ma-view. Apparently, is the Manila Times TV website, official website, up and running na? Hindi yes. pa rin. Uh, meron ng server. So. Meron ng <laughs> server. Oh, so, hold muna. Nasa Facebook pa rin po kami. Pero tayo rin ay mapapanood sa manilatimes.net Yes. Okay. Saan din? Sa Facebook page din. <laughs> sa Facebook page din po ni Iza pag shinare niya. So, so um, ang dami-dami hong ways na pa mapanood ang CSI. And I hope you make us your weekly habit. For now, yan lang po from us here in Intramuro sa Manila Times offices. We hope to see you again next Wednesday for the latest episode of CSI. Maraming salamat po and see you. See you. Bye.
CSI Celebrity Style Inspiration